On the plains of Africa, there is a kingdom both beautiful and violent. Beautiful growing lion. Where players pick and grow an animal to defy the odds. Oh, he's, he's getting mauled to death. A pack of wild dogs is hunting. This solar lion is caught by himself getting mauled, man. And working as a single unit, this family is a powerhouse of destruction. Whoa. And with the body being quickly disposed of. For now, the duty of the pack is done. Until the next time. Man, these wild dogs are brutal. The babies can finally all eat. And this family of assassins has taken up refuge in a den. This, this kingdom of wild dogs is growing. But how did I become a fully grown, experienced wild dog? Well, it all started with a random invitation. Come in. Nice. Hello, people. So my journey began as a small pup born into a giant family, where I could hear the sound of thunderous applause just outside of the den. Ah, uh, there's lions off going off out there. I can't even get out if a lion comes in here. Yeah, they're going pretty off out there. I just want to have a look. And if you end up enjoying my story about a pack of African wild dogs, don't forget to drop a like on the video because it truly helps me. Between lions and what? Wild dogs. That lioness up there is just sitting there. Thank you very much. And now, our pack was sharing territory with a pride of lions. Confrontation was inevitable. There's nothing we can do. Still a battle happening out there. My puppy stage of growth was over. I'd survived it and was now on my way to being an adolescent. Points. I'm stacking a lot of armor this time. Oh god damn. <laughs> Is he coming in? What's an elder too? I was still growing and the only reason to leave the safety of the den would be to stay hydrated. Da, 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 da. Yeah, kind of terrifying out there, not gonna lie. Oh, we've got a little rhino there. So Animonia is very active right now, I've noticed. Like, the server's got a hundred... Hang on, I'll check that. 110 players on right now. So it's capped out. It is not very buggy from what I've noticed so far. I mean, compared to what it used to be. The Lion Pride ended up making another move against the pack. I'm a bit too small to fight lions. I was starting to get bigger, but still an adolescent. One solid hit from a lion could end my gameplay. I'm gonna be careful though. Oh, oh, he's on the bird and everything. The bird's getting done. Hang on, those lions are going hard, man. They're just killing everybody and everything, I think. All I could do was hang back and hope that the pack could survive. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get in there and try to help out again, I might as well. I really don't want to die though. But the battle was no longer just taking place outside of the den. Someone had taken it underground. If I go in here... Am I safe in here? Oh, I hear the puppies on the other side, man. And when the cries stopped, and it was all finally over, what was left was a nightmare. Oh my god. Holy crap. It was a bloodbath with many of my siblings passing. Look at these guys, they're so beaten up. That one's dead. What is this, man? This is a massacre. My family's been slaughtered, man. Absolutely slaughtered. A lot of puppies had been killed, but we still had strength in the adult numbers. This is a big pack of dogs, man. Oh, look. There's a rhino here. Got a baby one. I think it wants to die. The pack's greatest asset, loyalty, and endurance. And with it, we can outrun just about anything else on the African plains. Hanging back, I see leopards are still fast as. The adults got distracted by an ambushing leopard. Meanwhile... Wait, what's this rhino doing? Killing the little babies, is it? Oh, 
Oh, the other one's dead. Oh, I gotta be careful. I I'm getting hit hard. <laughs> I'm getting hit with a rhino. The rest of my family were still defending my home from a ferocious leopard. There we go. He messed up. Oh, he's hurt. And once one of the adults returned and made quick work of the rhino, I was finally ready to grow into a sub-adult. That's one problem Adamoni has still got when you grow into your next stage. You get kicked out of your group. Oh, we got into that tree quick. No, it's out. The giant cat was trying to make a break for safety into the tree. Oh, I just got hit so hard. Oh my god. But when the leopard misplaced its step and failed to get into safety, it was game over. So where am I now? I'm, I'm a, I'm a sub-adult now at least. Nice. I'm getting bigger. But yeah, I just took some... Si oh, nice. They got the leopard. Nicely done. But I've taken some serious damage. They want to go to... The pack was ready to move on, seeking out fresh water and somewhere new to call home. Well, this is cool. This has been a good experience so far. It's been a nice change, because normally I play solo. It's pretty cool. And we've got ourselves a new den bottle. It's it. here in the desert that the family would have to survive, raising the next generation of wild dogs. Excellent. Let's rest. Heal up a bit, because I need to regain some stamina too. Oh look, the family is getting so much bigger. Getting so much bigger. Wild dogs rest during the day, often not far from the water. This pack's getting bigger. I'd survived being a sub-adult and was on my way to being fully grown. Some died, some, I mean many died when I was like a little juvenile. Over in that other den, it was just a massacre. The wild dog has a colourful, patchy coat, large bat-like ears and a brushy tail with a white tip that may serve as a flag to keep the pack together in contact while hunting. Members or even a bunch at the same time, but either way, I survived, I'm here. The water does slowly drain in this game too, for those who don't know, which is pretty cool. It makes you move around, it's a bit like Beast of Bermuda in that way. See, as you've seen, it just slowly went down. I, I love anything that's got to do with weather, so. After staying hydrated, it was back to daily life at the den. And because I was birthed in, I get that extra stage, so it's like an extra 60 points or something, which is really okay. So because I get the hatchling phase, I get like yeah, an extra 60 points or something like that. Maybe we got extra pups in here or something. Hey, oh, yeah, there's a small one there. I'm ready to grow almost, almost. And grow. I did it. After many hours of gameplay, I'd survived the road to adult. But there was still one more growth stage left, Elder and there would still be a lot of dangerous encounters along the way. <laughs> God damn. Unamused, this solo king made his way down to the waterhole. It was like, move aside, little dogs. <laughs> and with this lion being so far from the safety of his territory. Yeah, let's do it. An opportunity had presented itself. All right, let's turn this off and a pack of wild dogs has nowhere near the strength of a clan of hyenas. It's very unlikely that we would be able to hunt a solo lion in real life. However, this is Anamonia survival. We're on to him. Oh, he's, he's getting mauled to death. This solo lion is caught by himself getting mauled, man. Whoa. Oh, more lines are on the way. More lines are here to back them up. The lion was damaged but almost home free. But he was only an adult, not an elder, so he could be killed. But one of his brothers was here to help and even the odds. Nice. There we go, I've laid a couple of good ones now. Oh, what a battle man, this is absolutely insane. Two lions, two males. Oh, he's on the run. With the lion on full retreat, the pack of wild dogs, we could smell it. Oh, that dog just bit me. There we go. 
go. How many? Nice. He's down. He's down. Nice. Unfortunately for the lion, he would provide us with a meal and have to start his gameplay all over again. Oh man, these wild dogs are brutal. The babies can finally all... We ripped chunks of meat off the body, returning it back to the den for the future generation. Oh, <laughs> this water's getting low. We've almost drunk the entire desert pond. Look at the den. Look at them down here growing. All happy and small. I grew up in a completely different den, man. Yeah, mine was a bloodbath. <laughs> we didn't see no combat for hours, and all the chunks of meat that we collected would not last much longer with all these hungry bellies. Look at the size of this pack there, man. It is, this, this kingdom of wild dogs is growing. I am an experienced, fully grown wild dog now. I've survived the harsh realities of life, and even made a good hunt as an adult. Or being a part of a good pack hunt, is what I should say. Resting time was over. It was time to hunt, so we made our way back towards the oasis. Gotta keep all those little pups fed. Oh, and there's a full grown lion right there. There we go, it's on. And once again, we tried to catch a solo male off guard roaming the boundaries of his kingdom. Careful guys. Within seconds of the battle, we started to smother him. But now inside his homeland, his pride could hear the confrontation. He's getting beaten up already. His brothers in arms had come to the rescue, and now our pack was completely outnumbered. Holy crap! I just got hit pretty hard. Hang on, I'm back now for a moment. It was time to reposition, formulate a plan, and work out what sort of numbers we were dealing with. Oh, pride's outnumbering us. We truly overstepped our boundaries as a pack, because now we had taken the hunt to the pride's backyard. Anyone down? I was not quite an elder, so to go back in would be suicidal. One of our pack members had fallen. They were deceased. We're down a wild dog. The only thing left to do was sit back and watch as the pride of lions had fulfilled their revenge. Oh man, there, that pride, we just got like way outnumbered. Too much firepower. How's everyone in here looking? Not yet. Small players back at the den were growing where life was quiet. No worries, I might chill here for a bit too and recover. And the desert pond was slowly starting to drain. This pack. Our home was becoming nothing more than a graveyard full of skeletons. We needed food. And the hunt is on once again. Out of desperation, the pack had to go scouting into the oasis. What else we got around? Rich in resources but home to the prides. There's lots of things here, look at it. Oh, albino pride of lions. The pack caught a small hatchling, a crocodile, far from the safety of water. And you gotta eat, you gotta eat. That giraffe looks cool as. Hey, rhinos going down for a drink, elephants. There's lots here at the oasis, lots. And yet we just ripped that little alligator apart in like a matter of seconds. And once we had our fair fill, we took the scraps back to the den to feed the puppies. Been with this pack all day. I survived being a puppy, an adolescent, a sub-adult, an adult, and now an elder. Wild dog, it now also even has an actual phase, which is cool, so you got like extra hair on your back. We made it. Yeah, this, this Huge group. So I've spent half my life here in the desert next to this pond pretty much. And we have fully drained it almost. But the natural resources here in the desert were getting dangerously low. Yep, yeah, this is one big wild dog family. Female lion by herself. And with a solo lioness out here scouting, we couldn't let this opportunity slip by. 
She jumped up onto the rocks and so I tried to follow her. She thought she was safe and went to sit down. There you go, come up. Okay, she's off. I got her off. The pregnant lioness jumped off of the pillar and was now back on ground level. Males. But this lioness was no longer alone. Her pride was out here too. Oh, I just got hit hard. Right away. With over a third of my health now missing, this was a clear warning sign. Okay, extra careful. That's a war. We're <laughs> doing the prides again. Look at them, they're just backing up to each other. That's smart, man, because they're just... That's just power. Well, they're hurting each other. Someone dead? I think someone's dead. Maybe. Yeah, for sure. With no intentions on growing another wild dog, I was going to play this safe, sit back, and not get killed. This one is separate. Try to lay some damage onto that one. <laughs> it's so real too, man, because it's three, four hits and I'm dead from one of these lines. Here we go, I'll try to get this one. She's separated a bit. I'm on the with you, bait. I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. Oh, he hit me too, that hurt. Oh, fuck. I am hurt badly. And I got a bleed on me. Wait, is the family alive? What's going on over here? I was way too injured to stay in the battle. I had to retreat back to the safety of the den. But when I got there... The whole pack, possibly? There was pack members that were dead and were being eaten by the lions. Oh damn. Alright, we lost some members. <laughs> yeah, we lost some, alright. GG lions. I mean, they should be able to dominate us too. But we got so much stamina we can't get away, like quite easily. And once the lions had finally moved on, the rest of us who had survived would learn another hard lesson to life. Oh, they moved on. Yep. I ate the bodies and moved on. <laughs> After being online for more hours than I care to admit, it was time for me to log out for the day. Somebody sent me an invite. Roughly 20 hours later when I logged back in, I was searching the global chat for another pack, and that's when I got an invite. So are they living at the desert where I was? Looks like they're living. And it turns out one of the pack members was the exact same person who birthed me in. I'm actually loving playing this little wild dog, man. It gives me whole Lion King vibes. Animoni is definitely a small world and community. <laughs> We might be. We might and we shared our den with our neighbours, a clan of hyenas. They were a small pack for now, but they'd already established a home deep in the oasis. That's a big pride. And being on good terms with our neighbours, the hyena clan, it made it much harder to find food, and with none of it in the local area, I had to push beyond the boundaries. But when I was out there scouting, all alone, the only other animals I found was another pride of lions, and when I stumbled into their hunting grounds, I would be a fool to try and fight these kings. It would essentially be a death sentence. <laughs> I want to test their speed. But now, I was really feeling it. I was ready to have some fun and let loose. <laughs> I've got the whole pride chase of me. Here we go. And now with the majority of the pride behind me, and the mother sitting down next to her cub. They want to play this game. 
bodies down. <laughs> Holy crap! Look at them all! <laughs> I'm sorry guys, but this is a lot of fun. That's it, let's get her. She's pregnant too, that one. After I dragged the lioness back to the pack, by the time she made it to the safety of her pride, somebody had been killed. And amongst the chaos, it was hard to tell if it was her or somebody else. Possibly. Thanks for the backup, gentlemen. I returned to the safety of the den. It was time to recover. Ooh, we got a storm moving in. Nice. And not long after healing up, the land was blessed and the droughts were no more. The rivers and lakes were filled up. The wet season had arrived. <laughs> Just poked his head in. That was something else. <laughs> Leopard getting chased. I was near starving to death, so hunting was not even an option. Some lions were hunting a leopard, but the little lion cub had fallen behind. There we go, got him. I didn't even notice. Nice. I ripped chunks of his body apart and bring it back to the den. I was AFK for a moment, but when I got back, we were being challenged by a pair of stray dogs from outside the pack. Mate, what's going on the here? fight went on for like 15 minutes with paws throwing on both sides. Dog fight. I chased them as far away from the den as possible. Ryan's my full grown. In the end, they ran away and we returned home. You gave those wild dogs a bit of a whooping though, that's for sure. And so for now, my wild dog is still alive. But I had to log out. I had a lot of fun. And I hope you guys enjoyed the story. If you did, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. Thank you very much. This is your boy, Our Time, signing out.